What's up, guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Fedora 33 Beta 1. Now, there are a lot of changes in this, and I want to go over at least seven of them because I don't want to overflow you with information, I guess. I just want to give you the gist of the distro. We're going to let it boot up here. And it does take a little bit, even though I have set the VM to use an NVMe drive. It's a pain in the butt. But we should be on the desktop in three, two, one, done. So we have a mouse cursor. Yay. And does it auto resize to meet our needs? Windowed. It does not. So we're going to have to go set our display resolution because I don't want you guys to see a small, tiny screen. I want you to at least see what you're going to be doing i guess there we go thank god for that stretch option huh so first off um before we even get to installing it let's go over a few things if we go down to about you're going to notice that we are using uh gnome 3.38 so out of the box it's already up to date we are using wayland but that's against my will and the kernel itself is new so it should be the 5.8 kernel I meant to type in terminal, sorry. U N R. Yes, we are using the latest uh, 5.8 kernel. If you can't see that, don't worry, I can't either. There you go. So 5.8.6. It's not the newest, all right, I admit, but maybe there's an update for the 5.8.13. Let's install to drive and we're gonna go over a couple of this stuff. So. Um, first off, Nano is now the default uh, terminal-based text editor, so that's great. I love using Nano. It's uh, the least complicated by far, and we're actually going to choose custom here instead because I don't want to be forced to have my home folder and my root folder separated. I don't like that. Another thing is swap on ZRAM by default, so... Uh, we'll utilize ZRAM instead of swap partition by default. ZRAM is RAM drive that uses compression, and due to the compression, it uses half as much memory as its size. So that, that's awesome. Uh, please complete items. I did select a disk. You guys saw I select a disk. I guess it doesn't want to listen. So by default, you're going to be using also B, uh, what is it called? BTRFS, so BTRFS is the new default file system. So they're moving away from ext4. I kind of think that's a mistake, but it's not up to me, I guess. Uh, you could choose to use it, or you could still go with standard partitioning. For now, we'll select BTRFS, and I found some problems with this one, and then I will go over it uh, when I can. And we're actually going to remove the root with the root. Why is the remote only a why is the root only a gig? How annoying. We're just gonna create a root. No, that's a home. That's a root. There we go. 41 gigs. Done. So yeah. New file system. Great. Uh system MD resolved resolve enabled by default. So a standardized on upstream system MD service uh reduces behavior differences between different Linux distributions which I guess is kind of cool. Uh, improved hardening for 64-bit ARM devices. I did not know you can install this on ARM devices. That's cool. As I already mentioned, GNOME 3.38 and all its visual changes it brings. If you don't know what GNOME 38 brings, it's basically the back. Uh, your background is now a lot sharper because they actually fixed an issue. I believe it was something MIPMAP, yada, yada, yada. Um... So I believe if I try this, animated background based on time of day, not a serious change, obviously. Dropped legacy BIOS support, not this time. So it will be dropped in 34. Other changes are as follows. It will have the latest uh, MinGW GNU Make uh, 4.3, Ruby on Rails 6.0, Boost 1.7.3, Golang 1.15, Glibc 2.32, Java 11 is installed by default, LLVM 11, Node.js uh, 14, you got Perl 5.32, and Python 3.9. As you probably all know by now, Python 2.6 and 3.4 have been dropped a long time ago. 
and it uses RPM 4.16. That's a lot to bring in, honestly. But yeah, so uh, something I never really liked about GNOME was the fact that the background always looked way blurrier than it did. Even no matter how much sharpening I implemented, it always looked like garbage, and they managed to fix that, and I'm very happy about that. They also implemented a few other changes that are kind of hard to see, but... On the actual underside of GNOME, it's a lot faster, and it uses a lot less memory and CPU. I mean, most people don't like GNOME, and I still don't understand that, right? GNOME is fantastic. Honestly, one of the most customizable desktop environments I've had, you know. And I really do enjoy it. So we're going to pause here, because five minutes of nonstop talking is pretty cool and all, but I want to get to the actual installed OS. All right, so this is the Fedora welcome screen. This is nothing new, not really. Uh, the actual new thing comes after, but I'd figure if there's any actual new users watching who are curious about Fedora, uh, that I'd show them how the little setup screen goes. Uh, allows me to use the most simple password in the world. What is new comes next, and hopefully it goes full screen, which it doesn't. Great, thanks. I want to actually show you this in full resolution. So we're going to switch over to that and then apply. And of course, I'm going to go and do that and keep changes. So this little doohickey is new. It allows you to start a tour to learn everything you need to know about it, uh, such as how to use GNOME, uh, how to jump straight to search. So basically, Windows key and start typing as it's been in every single OS that's actually good. And click the time to see notifications. That's true. And view system information and settings. Also correct, even though there's literally nothing here, which is still pretty bad. I kind of wished that they would uh, integrate a few extensions that would expand on this, but I doubt they ever will, right? They only really care about uh, uh, catering to users that don't want anything that they want. Now, use software to find and install apps. This is true, but you'll need to install Flathub, I still think. Let's go check that out. Let's go shopping. Last time I tried to do this, the catalog would not download, but this time it does. What repositories come with this now? And that's also very important to find out. So software repositories are taking literally forever. So you can install Google Chrome right out of the box. It's nice. Uh, if you want, you can install your NVIDIA drivers just file enabling that one right there, the non-free. Uh, you have the ability for Open 264, a whole bunch of cool updates and vendor stuff if you need to, but no FlatHub. No FlatHub is integrated still. I would love to see them add that to their software repositories. Uh, that would be great if they could, but I, I you know, again... I don't think they really care enough to do that. So GNOME.38, or sorry, GNOME 38's here, a whole bunch of other stuff is here. Uh, that new welcome screen, all really good. And believe it or not, this ends up being a nice release, stable release so far, and it's only in beta. I did have a few quirks before then, but it seems that they fixed it. Um, let's try to install open. VM tools and the password. And before there was a bug where this was taking literally ages, and I don't know what it was, but I'm guessing, oh, maybe there's something going on on my computer. VMs are not always the most stable thing. They don't actually show how stable an operating system is until you run it on bare metal. I mean, sometimes they can, but not always. So let's try this. Is it going to see my app? Open VM tools is a lifesaver here. Come on, you can do it. I know you want to. Ah, and as you can see, the, 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 the repos we enabled are showing up, so that's good. And it's already installed, is it though? Let's try this, ready? Now, it does not feel like it's installed. Like, watch this. Yeah, there's been a bug with a lot of distros lately in this the open VM tool is not working. So yeah. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think about the changes in Fedora 31. Uh, if you want to see me pimp out this VM the best that I can, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you're new here, subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed the content, hit the bell to be notified of future content as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.